Hey, it's Crystal with The Traveling Attic. I have a great video for you today. I did a survey on Facebook with 125 women across the, the world. Out of 125 women, 100 hike solo. Nine of them did not use trekking poles. So the truth is, you're more likely to be attacked getting in your car to go to the woods than you are to be getting attacked in the woods. So what I want to share with you today is some techniques that I am learning from my uh, fellow martial artist friends, Kim, Brent, and Beth. And they're going to show me some techniques that will help me. So as you will see, my technique is not perfect. Please don't even comment and tell me about my technique. I am just like the average person in the woods and I wanted to know some techniques that would help me should I be attacked or approached by someone who is wanting to attack me. So I'm here to learn with you and we will learn some techniques that you can do. The worst thing you can do is stand there and not do anything. Screaming does help because it throws your, your attacker off for that moment for a second. And some, here are some other tips. You wanna walk with confidence. An attacker is looking for an easy prey. You want to be aware of your surroundings. You don't want your earbuds in or both of them in so you can't hear. You could hear somebody approaching from the side or behind you if you don't have your earbuds in and you're paying attention to your surroundings. If somebody's approaching you and you see them coming, you want to make eye contact with that person. If you do not look them in the eye, you look submissive and vulnerable and you want to be able to look them in the eye to let them know you are a confident person. And the last thing is to never admit you are alone. If you are alone hiking and somebody does approach you, you can always say, my partner's right behind me, my partner was taking photos, they're coming up right behind me, that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Practice some of these moves. You don't want to freeze and do n nothing. You want to try to do something if you are attacked. You're going to have to do something there besides just scream and drop your pole. You might be surprised, but you got to react also. And move out of the way he Move out of the way because he's gonna throw up. Okay. <laughs> so it's not just here, it's bro, grab it and then so you're pushing hand. at the same time. Chew. Yeah. And think the whole thing, not just stop, so it's all the way through. That way okay. if you miss, you're still gonna miss face. Okay. But this is where you get so you two hands. Okay. Yeah, so here. Or here, and that way, if you miss, okay. Oh, then if you can hold on to a stick from behind, you can sit here, get and go limp, and then you can just slide right out, okay. And also, if he grabs you around, you want to get close, get him off balance, you can do elbows, elbow. So, if they also grab you, you also got feet, stomp, stomp. Always take out their knees with you. Try to hit them on the side of the knees though, because the front, hitting them in front is not going to be as much, but you take them out on the side and it'll take them down. She comes by and he grabs you by the arm. So you want to twist out to the thumb part, the weakest part. So he's grabbed you as you're walking by. You didn't think he was doing anything, he's grabbed you. And so you can twist out. Okay. And then, oh, you still got your stick where you can 
So instinctively, if they grab you like this, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna ah, ah, but then flip back up. Okay. And that again breaks that wherever the thumb is. So here, grab it, put push up on it. He's gonna go down. Okay. <laughs> Got no choice. <laughs> So thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do more if you want to see some more self-defense. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on my next adventure.